statements. We'll take uh, two questions per side, alternating. Uh, Mr. Chancellor, welcome back. It's good to see you. Uh, we just had a, uh, a really constructive uh, dialogue about our mutual interests, our mutual desires to work together. Uh, when Germany and America work together, the world is a better place. We're both committed to freedom. We both are committed to peace. We're both committed to the prosperity of our respective people. And this is an important visit. And I'm glad you're here. And I appreciate uh, our ability to work together and on a lot of fronts. I told the Chancellor I was particularly grateful for German presence in Afghanistan. They're making a, uh, a very constructive, uh, playing a constructive role in making sure that country is able to uh, survive in a as a free nation. And that's important that Afghanistan succeed, and, and uh, we really appreciate it. And we talked about Iraq, and we talked about the Middle East, and talked about North Korea. We discussed a lot of subjects. And so, Mr. Chancellor, welcome back. Vielen Dank, Herr Präsident. Ich freue mich, wieder hier sein zu können. Und in der Tat, wir haben nicht über Vergangenheit, sondern über Gegenwart und Zukunft gesprochen. Wir sind beide gleichermaßen interessiert an einem stabilen, demokratischem Irak. Es ist richtig, dass Deutschlands Rolle in Afghanistan beachtlich ist. Das ist unser wesentlicher Beitrag im Kampf gegen den internationalen Terrorismus und wir werden diesen Beitrag auch nachhaltig weiter erbringen. In den übrigen internationalen Fragen, insbesondere auch was die Lösungen im Nahen Osten angeht, gibt es ein großes Maß an Übereinstimmung. Übereinstimmung auch darin, dass bei allen Notwendigkeiten einen breiten Ansatz zu finden, der israelisch-palästinensische Konflikt nicht ausgeklammert werden darf, sondern ohne ihn eine wirkliche Lösung in der Region nicht denkbar ist. Also ein gutes Gespräch zweier, die wissen, dass die Herausforderungen des 21. Jahrhunderts nur gemeinsam bewältigt werden können. Thank you, Mr. President. Indeed, I'm very pleased to be here once again. And indeed, we talked about, not about the past, we very much agreed on that, we have to talk about the present and the future now. We both have a great interest in seeing a stable and democratic Iraq develop. And uh, you rightly mentioned the important part that Germany is playing in Afghanistan. In Afghanistan. It is a contribution that we make. Um, it is a contribution that we also make in the fight against international terrorism, and we intend to continue to make that contribution. We also talked about international issues, especially a settlement of the Middle East uh, problems and the conflicts there. We very much agreed on that. Uh, whenever one pursues a broader outline and a broader approach here, one has not to lose sight of the fact that a settlement of the conflict between the Israelis and the Palestinians is necessary if one wants to bring peace to this region. It was indeed a very good meeting, Mr. President, and we very much agreed on that. We now have to face up to the challenges of the 21st century. Uh, Jennifer. Thank you, sir. I'd like to ask you about gay marriage. Um, what, in, what do you believe uh, same-sex weddings, how do they actually threaten the institution of marriage in general? And also, are you concerned at all about being considered on the wrong side of the civil rights issue? This is a, yeah, this is a difficult issue here for a lot of people in America. It, uh, I believed uh, uh, it was important to act because the institution of marriage uh, was being changed by courts and and uh, it's an issue that's uh, uh, very sensitive, uh, and the, the voice of the people need to be heard, and the constitutional process was the best way to do such. Uh, I believe uh, that uh, a marriage has served society well, and uh, I believe it is important to uh, affirm that, uh, that marriage between a man and a woman is the ideal, and the job of the president is to drive policy toward the ideal. Um, this is a sensitive debate, and uh, it is important that people hold true to their beliefs without uh, condemning anybody else. Uh, and so therefore I call upon all sides in the debate to conduct themselves with dignity and honor and respect. Uh, but this is a debate that the nation must have, and the people's voice must be heard in the debate. President, yes. um, your father mentioned Germany as partner in leadership. Is this still the case? 
And how would you describe the personal relationship between Chancellor Schroeder and yourself? Uh, the, uh, the Chancellor has got a good sense of humor. And uh, therefore, he is able to uh, uh, make me laugh. And a person that can make me laugh is a person who is easy to be with. And a person who's easy to be with means I've got a comfortable relationship with him. Uh, we have differences in the past. But there's nothing wrong with friends having differences. And uh, we have both committed to put the differences behind us and move forward. Germany is, a, uh, is an important nation. And uh, Germany occupies an important place in Europe. And it's, um, uh, it's essential that America have good relations with Europe. Not only we share values, we share economic interests. We have the capacity to help keep the peace. And uh, so I'd say our relations are good. Partner in leadership? Partner in leadership, that's right. We're partnering in leadership in Afghanistan. Uh, we're partnering in, uh, in when it comes Balkans. to dealing with the disease. Uh, the, Balkans. the Balkans. No, yeah. There's no question we differed on Iraq. We don't differ on whether Iraq ought to be free and peaceful. And so, uh, no, I look forward to good rela continued good relations with, uh, with Germany and Gerhard Schroeder. Uh, Steve. Would it help sell things in Haiti if President Harris Steve were to resign? Uh, the Secretary of State has made, uh, made some comments. Uh, let me follow up on those by saying that we're interested in achieving a political settlement, and we're still working to that effect. We're also at the same time uh, planning for a... Um, a multinational force that would go in and make sure that if uh, aid needed to be delivered or or, uh, or there needed to be some stability that that um, that it could go in dependent upon a political settlement.